Hey guys, how's it going? I'm making this video to explain why Judas betrayed Jesus. If you guys have been enjoying the videos, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. God bless. So I want to start this video off by saying that the reason Judas was unsaved and went to hell was because he was an unbeliever. He was an unbeliever from the beginning, and that's why he went to hell. In this video, we're going to be talking about the actual reason behind Judas's betrayal. A lot of Christians think that Judas's betrayal was strictly for financial gain, but that's not the case. This is from Mark chapter 14, and it reads, And being in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard, very precious, and she brake the box and poured it on his head. And there were some that had indignation within themselves, and said, Why was this waste of the ointment made? For it might have been sold for more than three hundred pence, and had been given to the poor. And they murmured against her. And Jesus said, Let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you always, and whensoever ye will, ye may do them good. But me ye have not always. She hath done what she could. She is come aforehand to anoint my body to the burying. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her. And Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went unto the chief priests to betray him unto them. There's another account of his story in the Gospel of John, chapter 12, and it reads, Then saith one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him, Why was not this ointment sold for three hundred pence, and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and had the bag, and bare what was put therein. Then said Jesus, Let her alone, against the day of my burying has she kept this. So guys, Judas was Simon's son. This happened in Simon's house, in Judas's house, in his hometown, and the woman was a known sinner in the town. Let her alone was a strong rebuke from Jesus, and I believe it embarrassed Judas in front of a lot of people he knew and angered him. In Matthew and Mark, Judas went to the chief priest to betray Jesus directly after this happened. It seems like the reason he was saying this was, one, because he was a thief and had the bag and would get money from it, but another reason could have been that he was trying to appear righteous in front of people by talking about how he wanted to give it to the poor. So guys, this is the real reason that Judas betrayed Jesus. This was the catalyst that sent him out to go betray him, and in the meantime, he saw that he could make some money off it. Jesus rebuked Judas in front of everybody, and I believe this made Judas very upset and angry at Jesus, and that's why he went out to betray him. There's more details in this story, but I'll let you guys go check it out for yourselves, and the lesson in this video here is to pay attention to the details in the Bible. Nothing God has put in the Bible is by accident. It all connects, and it's all very interesting. If you pay attention to the details, you'll learn a lot more. Pay attention to the details in the Bible, guys.